public hearing on local law number three of the year 2005, Village of Rogers Point Subdivision Law. Any comments? I will close the public hearing on local law number three of the year 2005, Village of Rogers Point Subdivision Law. And open the meeting to comments from the public. Well, this is an easy one. Well, I got a quick comment. Go ahead. Just wondering if there's any report on uh, a committee, if there's going to be a committee for to deal with Wyatt. Or I saw the mayor yesterday and he said the, the deputy mayor would have a full report. He did. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was mistaken. <laughs> no report that I'm aware of. Okay, yeah. Quite a lot of rumors going on. A lot around. of rumors. Vicious rumors. That That's right. Closing. That's right, and I don't think we should just sit on our hands and... Well, Mr. Vincent had a meeting and he told the people at Arist, he said there's nothing that they can do about it. So, it doesn't sound very optimistic. Well. Somebody's been leaking information out, somebody higher up in the food chain at Wyatt, but they're leaving. So, I don't know. Well, I think they shouldn't leave without a fight. And the state ought to do everything they can, and the only way the state's going to mobilize if uh, the locals get after them. Are you interested in serving on it? I was asked uh, at the town board to serve, but uh, then, uh, then they backed off on whether they want a committee or not, so I haven't heard any more yet, certainly. Well, there they are. We'll be back in town on Monday. Wait. I know you said he had a meeting coming up with Betty Little, but... We I have a meeting um, Wednesday with Betty Little. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, that really hasn't been anything to do that, that topic, but it can be brought up. Well, I guess, according to what he said, it was going to be brought up. It was supposed to be part of the, the conversation. So that's all at okay. this point. Yeah. Anybody else? Doug. <laughs> no. On that public <laughs> hearing for a local law number three, does the board have to vote on this? We're going to vote on later. Yeah. Oh, later on. Minutes of the previous meeting. Does anybody have any corrections or omissions? <laughs> no, we'll take a motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, minutes of the previous meeting. Motion made by Second. Mr. Jefferson, seconded by Trustee Moore. All in favor? Aye. 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 Contrary? Terry. Mills, Arsene, any additions or corrections? I have one addition. It's an American Public Power Association, the amount of $2,507.64. That is our dues for the next 12 months. I'll make a motion to pay the bills tonight. I got one. What do you do? Uh, we got a bill for anyone that's on the second page, the third one down, the North Country Medical Center. We got billed right here, $81 for a physical. That was error, so that one we don't pay. Okay. Any other corrections? All right, you made a yeah, I'll make a motion to pay the bills, uh, Deputy Mayor. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Contrary minded? Carried. Uh, correspondence, Mr. Administrator. Yeah. <clears throat> we received um, a certified letter from uh, Lillian Anderson Duffy, she's an attorney out of Malone. Um, it was regarding NIRAG Inc. liquor license application, addressed to the mayor dated August 24th. Dear Mayor Rivers, please, please be advised that my client, NIRAG Inc., is applying for a liquor license for the Anchorage, which my client is purchasing. If you need any additional information, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you for your attention and courtesy in this matter. And that's a required mailing in order to be legal with the liquor board. Uh, the other thing we have is uh, simply a notice from the Clinton County Health Department. It's a, a rabies clinic scheduled for Clinton County. Uh, they're going to have one Tuesday, September 13th at the Keysville Fire Station, Thursday, September 15th at Champlain Fire Station, Tuesday, September 20th at the Deaton Town Fire Station, Thursday, September 22nd at the Dan Moore Fire Station, 
and Tuesday, September 27th at the Morrisonville Fire Station. We posted that on our bulletin board in the village office, but I just thought I'd read it at night. That's all there is for correspondence. Thanks, Bill. Reports of the Mayor and Trustees. Mayor Rivers is absent in case you have a bulletin. Uh, Trustee Deputy Mayor Lucro. Uh, first item is a meeting with Senator Little on Wednesday afternoon uh, regarding shared services with the town. Uh, the town was contacted and uh, asked us to participate in the meeting and uh, Phil and I will be going um, to that meeting. And it's shared services can mean a whole lot of things. I'm not exactly sure what you want to discuss for the years and why it's going to be. Okay, any questions on that? No, who's fine? I know you and Phil are so fine. Right. Uh, the town and the town and the okay. uh, Champlain also. Oh, okay, yeah. good. All yeah. right, thank you. Okay, one other item. Uh, you probably noticed in yesterday's paper there was a uh, picture of a couple of young ladies from Rouse's Point collecting bottles to send off to uh, the South to meet our friends. And uh, I have asked the uh, administrator if you would please send a letter to uh, Serena Foster and to Megan Mobile acknowledging their civil civic spirit. And uh, it's nice to see that some good things are happening. A lot of good things that you already recognize. That's all for me, Rusty Penfield. Okay, um, I guess in, in light of the public hearing, I would make a motion that we adopt local law number three of the year 2005 with these subdivision regulations, um, adopting certain rules and regulations controlling and regulating divisions of lands located in the village of Rouse's Point. This will be called the village of Rouse's Point subdivision law. And I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call. Roll call vote. Trustee Penfield. Aye. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Moore. Aye. Deputy Mayor, both side. Okay. Uh, the second thing I have on the agenda is to request an executive session to discuss sewer plant personnel. Second that. You second it? Yeah. Sorry. 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 <coughs> Any discussion? No discussion. Roll call vote. Trustee Pinto. Aye. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Moore. Aye. Yep, we have both sides. Okay, and then actually I'm going to turn the next item over to Doug. Um, the sewer committee and Arsen and Doug and, and Tom and Ariam have met a few times now to discuss the new sewer rates that the village will be experiencing, and I believe that Doug has an update for us on what exactly is transpired. Okay. Well, uh, as Kelly said, we've been doing a lot of work, and it's all boiled down to a resolution that uh, we have a draft of for this board to consider. Uh, the sewer committee recommends that this board schedule a public hearing for its next regularly scheduled meeting, Monday, September 19th, so that we can uh, hear the public and vote that night on a sewer rate resolution, which would consist primarily of of raising the sewer rent rate, the per monthly rate from its current level of $24.72 to $29.76 per month. Okay, that's an approximate increase of 20%. Uh, there has not been an increase in the sewer rent since the year 2000. And so uh, here we are in 2005. This increase is necessary to pay for the capital improvements we made with the sewer plant. Also, that resolution will include uh, wording for the commercial sewer rent, which will similarly be raised from $24.72 per unit per month to $29.76 per unit per month. But also that uh, the commercial rates include a sewage strength factor of 1.15. Uh, prior, the sewage strength factor for the commercial rate has been 1.0 but uh, commercial uh, sewage is not the same as sanitary sewage from households. There's uh, more foodstuffs, et cetera, in it, like for a restaurant. So a uh, sewage strength factor, a nominal one, is, is uh, appropriate, and that is recommended. Lastly, with our industrial rate, um, the industrial rent will actually go down. Right now it's 34, 32 or something. 
$30.92 per unit. It's going to be the same as the residential and the commercial at $29.76 per unit. However, the resolution includes the recommendation that the formula which is used to calculate the equivalent number of household units that an industry produces be updated and this update will increase the number of units and so thus there will be a net increase to the industrial concern in town for its sewer rent. Um, also this resolution includes a recommendation that uh, the waiver that used to be in the uh, sewer law for waiving sewer rent for some residences under some certain circumstances that that be eliminated and uh, a separate resolution that does not need to be part of the public hearing is that the treasurer should be authorized to um, the exact number and it escapes me but it's about a hundred thousand dollars that the treasurer should be allowed to access one of the sewer plant sewer system surplus funds for a hundred thousand dollars in cash to to help allay the cost so that our sewer rent will only be 2976 that it won't be higher to mitigate the impact to the taxpayers that'll be a separate resolution to authorize him to do that and uh, we'd like you to advertise it so that if the public would like to discuss it we'll talk about it in a couple weeks and then uh, we're looking forward to you passing that resolution so that we'll be able to pay our debt service for the uh, sewer projects. Are there any questions? You know, these very latest figures, Doug, that, that we're talking about. Yes. You've met with the sewer plant personnel? I have not met with them personally, okay. but I have had communication with them, so telephone and fax. So, so that you're familiar with uh, what Ernie, we Ernie approved, uh, agreed with everything that okay. I said. So, and all of this material has also been through the village administrator's office. So, um, even though we haven't had a formal meeting, right. there was a meeting of the minds, and so there's there's really nothing new. Right. And my understanding is the calculations are still relatively the same as they were the last time that we met as a committee. Is that correct? Yeah, the, the yeah. calculations. Have, there's been no major shift in the philosophy or in uh, calculations. There's just been some tweaking of numbers as we received uh, more refined debt service information from the village treasurer, mm -hmm. we were able to fine tune those numbers to give you our recommendation. If we didn't access that $100,000, what would the rate have been? The rate would have been uh, $36.04 per unit per month, uh, 50% increase. That would be good. Thank you. And, and if we hadn't been able to use the $125,000 from the Environmental Facilities Corporation, it would have raised it substantially more, probably another $9 per month. So we lucked out in the A that we have the surplus to use, plus we were able to use $125,000 from EFC, which was very close to the wire. So I'll uh, make a motion to authorize the clerk to publish a legal notice um, advertising the public hearing on the new sewer rates to be held on September 19th, 2005. I'll second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all those, no? Do we? Roll call? No. no. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. And that is all that I have for tonight. All right, Trustee Jefferson. Okay, I just have a couple items on my agenda tonight. <clears throat> First of all, I'd like to request an executive session to discuss police department personnel in the village. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call vote, Trustee Penfield. Aye. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Moore. Aye. Trustee Mayor votes aye. Okay, my second item on the agenda tonight, I was uh, request an executive session for judicial personnel in the village of Rouses Point tonight. Second. Motion and a second. Roll call vote. Trustee Pinto. Aye. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Moore. Aye. Thank you for your vote Okay, I have one other item on my agenda tonight. A uh, number of people that walk in the village have come to me and reminded me that there is quite a bit of uh, dog excrement in the village on the sidewalk. So 
please be courteous to the residents in Rouses Point. <coughs> take your dogs in the grass. And that's all I have on my agenda tonight. Thank you, Trustee Chairperson. Trustee Moore. I just got one thing. Request executive session to discuss the potential litigation. I'll second that. A motion and a second. We'll call the vote. Trustee Penfield. Aye. Trustee Jefferson. Aye. Trustee Moore. Aye. Get rid of those. Uh, that's all I've got. Other reports? Bill? Um, I put in a travel request. I actually dated it Friday, but it was on my desk until this morning until I distributed it. Um, Melissa McManus, our Director of Community Development, I would like to travel to Albany on Friday to meet with representatives of the Department of State and the Office of Parks, Rec, and Historic Preservation. This is our second meeting. And this is where everybody's going to get together and go over everything that's been submitted to date to bring everyone up to speed and answer any questions either those controlling state agencies may have. So we're requesting your approval to attend. We will be taking the village vehicle. Good motion. I'll uh, make that motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Contrary minded? Okay, is there anything else, Bill? No, that's all I have, sir. I just want to point out that uh, the last board meeting, um, uh, we discussed the uh, $365,000 BAN uh, remaining on the water, wastewater treatment plant roof. And uh, we had voted to go ahead and um, convert it to a 10 year issue. So I uh, paid off $15,000 in the principal, which brought it down to $350,000. Uh, paid $5,761.46 interest on that issue. We went out for a 10-year issue, and the rate on that bond is 5.06%. What's the rate in here? 5.06. Just anything else? No. Thank you. Doug, anything further? Just uh, one little note on the sewer project. Uh, one of the outstanding issues with with Shazy Hardware to show them what their final easement would be so they could continue with the expansion of their warehousing in, in their backyard. And I met with Brent, uh, one of the owners today, and went over the field results with them, uh, spray painted, ribboned everything, so that he has a good feel for uh, where things are exactly, and he seemed uh, pretty pleased with it. So they'll be able to proceed with their project. I'll now get with Tom Renane. We will redo the easement. I'm not sure if it, it supersedes the other or how it works from a legal standpoint, but we will uh, update the easement so that we will give back to Shazy Hardware some of the property they gave us so that we could put our new force man through. That's it. Mike? No, thank you. Melissa? Yes. Uh, the first item I'd like to uh, bring to the board's attention is the possibility of a grant application to the Lake Champlain Basin Program. This would be for what they call a partnership grant. Uh, we have a, a project that we proposed to the Department of State to do a beach cleanup and tire removal from the northern section of our waterfront. When I contacted the Basin Program on this in uh, the spring, they suggested that we submit an application to them also. So what I would propose to do with the board's approval is put in an application for the $4,800 tipping fees, basically, for the tires and the debris that are brought in from the, the old beach and that section of the waterfront. Uh, it should be a minimal amount of effort because it's basically what I already did for the uh, Department of State application. So and if the board has any questions or if you, I should just go ahead and plan on submitting that. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, the other item that I'm, I wanted to bring to your attention, the village has uh, been offered an opportunity to have a booth at Wyatt's Safety Day that they're holding on September 19th at the Clinton County Fairground. It was, it's actually the Environmental and Doug, you probably know the Environmental Health Service, the side of Wyatt, a gentleman named Scott Star Stoddard I spoke to today on the phone. Uh, they're showcasing the lake. They're working with the Basin Program, DEC, and their own internal efforts to try to control stormwater. And they thought a chance to talk about how we're going to improve public access would fit in very well with that. Everyone in Rouse's Point and Shazy operations will be down at the fairgrounds that day, so it's a lot of local residents that might have a chance to see us and ask questions. Um, there, there's no cost. 
It would just be a matter of going down and setting up and being there during the day. Okay. We have our, e we're, we're pretty, we're well set now to go on the road. We have our easels, we have our presentation boards, we're, we're really good to go. Um, and what I thought we might do is uh, any village board members or steering committee members that might like to stop in during the day, sit in the booth for a while, that would be great. Otherwise, I'll plan on being there for the, the entire time. Give the date again, It's uh, Monday, September 19th. What are the hours? Uh, 8 to 4.30, their usual business day. So I'll have to be, to be down there about 7 to set up. I'll plan on going ahead with that then. That's okay, great. And then just a few other upcoming meetings I, I wanted to um, inform the board about. Elon started their traffic study today as part of the downtown plan. Uh, Lisa Nagel and um, I think it was Ed McMahon. It's my head. Uh, Brian. 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 Thank you. Brian. Mc <laughs> Ed McMahon was not in the village today. <laughs> if you hear that rumor, Brian, it's not yeah. there. Uh, Brian and McMahon were here doing a. Oh, that's the another. Other, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the other bit. Um, they were in the in the village observing the truck traffic, taking photos, and they're going to take that back. They are starting to compile the draft of the downtown plan. I'll try to do better on these. On Thursday, uh, I'm meeting with Scott Renzi from the Empire State Development Corporation. That is the original uh, grant agency that got us started on our waterfront revitalization project. They're here to talk about the boat launch project because they are going to be financing a small portion of that with what's left in that grant. And on Monday, September 12th, uh, Chris Lawful from DEC is coming. He is uh, basically a circuit rider for DEC. He works on waterfront revitalization. He is the Lake Champlain Basin Program contact. So he wants to meet and just to, so I can explain to him the various projects and where they stand and maybe he can put in a good word for us with the basic program. So that's all I have. Any other questions that I can answer for the board? Somebody asked me today whether when you go down Montgomery Street, when we redo the, the lakefront, will there be no parking on both sides of the street? Uh, down on the walk, once you get to the lake? Or yeah, from like where the state dock is for the sportsmen in that area. The, my understanding, the latest recommendation that Elon was thinking about is a couple of handicapped parking spaces in the area where there currently is that pull-off. Uh, this was something that came out of our discussions with the residents down there who felt regardless of what we do, if you don't put parking, people are still going to park there. So they suggested just a couple of spaces there. I believe the road is too narrow to accommodate any other kind of parking. I, I don't believe that, that there would be anything off-road there. But I, I do know that Elon is also looking at other options just a bit down the street for parking because that's been a, that's been a concern right from the beginning. Does anyone know, are we able, let's say that the weekend of the sportsman's picnic, or once we get the, the walkway done and the pier, you know, we might even want to have an event or even part of the 4th of July celebration, some event, some activity that takes place down there. Are we able, Phil, do you know, to, or anyone else, to make that street one way, let's say, for a day and park on half of it? It's can a you do that? So, block it off. So, for a special event, we could just create a one-way traffic Absolutely. situation it's and really park in the road, basically, types of, right? We have to, yeah. Just basically do a different one. Fourth of July celebration when we control the village streets. You can't do it on a state road, but you can on a village street. Mm -hmm. right. you know, we could shut it right down it's like we had a festival or something like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's something else to keep in mind. If people are worried about, I know that the issue came up at one of the meetings about even though the sportsman's right. barbecue is one day a year, but once we get that area fixed up, there might be other opportunities to to have a lakefront festival or something down right. there. So okay. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, again, I'll open the meeting to the public. I want to to address the public. Close the meeting to the public and make a motion for recess. You have it. Second. Okay. motion 
a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we're invited. We're in recess for three and a half minutes.